sweep you off of your feet Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? Will your eyes still smile from your cheek? Darling, I will be loving Dear God, we thank you for today. We thank you for the blessings that you've given us. Thank you for the beautiful weather. Thank you for the family and friends who are gathered here today to celebrate Jack and Mallory. God, we're thankful for their love and for bringing them together. God, we're thankful for the prayer and the counsel uh, that they've received over the last months and years. And God, we're thankful for the vows and the covenant that they are entering into today. So God, we ask your presence here today, and we ask your hand and spirit 
on this ceremony. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. All right, y'all ready to do this? All right. Jack, I'm going to ask you a question. Do you take Mallory to be your wife? I do. Mallory, do you take Jack to be your husband? I do. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? We do. Jesus uh, taught a great deal about marriage. Uh, referring back to the Old Testament book of Genesis, Jesus said in Mark chapter 10, verses 6 through 9, But at the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. And for this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. Guys, this is God's model for marriage. Uh, one man, one woman coming together to start a new family. Um, and, and today, what this ceremony is, is uh, the opportunity for you guys to enter into a covenant uh, between each of you and between uh, you and God. And a covenant is simply a promise of faithfulness. And that's what wedding ceremonies have been for thousands of years. It's a promise of faithfulness between you and God and with your family and friends here gathered today. So, a couple things just want to... Uh, challenge you guys with uh, as we get ready to enter into your vows. Uh, we've talked over the last uh, few weeks. We sat down and we talked about marriage, talked about uh, some of the fun stuff, some of the maybe not so fun stuff. Uh, but overall, we talked about just how awesome marriage can be and how it's uh, marriage is the closest thing that we can have on this earth to the love that God has for us. And so today, as you guys think about that, I just want you to remember that. Remember uh, just what what this. Ceremony is it's a covenant. Um, so, a couple of things. Uh, Jack, I've known you for man a long time. You and my brother Hunter have been married for. No, <laughs> 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 this look. Not married. You guys have been best friends. best friends. Let me rephrase that. Best friends. Best friends. Since kindergarten, probably. Maybe before. So I've seen you guys do a lot of a lot of great stuff over the years. You guys have been really great friends. Uh, so I've seen you guys grow up. We can tell a lot of stories. I'm sure Hunter can tell a lot of stories. Uh, but I know that you are excited about today. You're excited to marry Mallory. Uh, and Mallory, I've just met you in the last uh, few months. But I know that in the same same way that Jack is excited about today, that you're excited about today. So that's what I challenge you guys is to keep that. Keep that excitement. Keep that love for each other. Keep dating each other like we talked about. And then really the most important thing I think today is just remember the vows that you're about to enter into. Remember those words. Remember the promise of faithfulness. So if you guys are ready, we'll go ahead and do that right now. So go just hold hands, face each other. Jack, I'm going to start with you. So if you'll just repeat after me. I, Jack, take you, Mallory. I, Jack, take you, Mallory. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Mallory, please repeat after me. I, Mallory, take you, Jack. To be my husband. To have and to hold. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish till death do us part. All right, Jack and Mallory, you guys have chosen beautiful rings to illustrate the pledges that you have made and to seal the vows that you've just made to each other. These rings are precious and they'll only get more precious with time. They speak of the importance of the love that you have for each other and how it will grow more precious with time also. So as you wear them and are reminded of your love for each other, remember that your love is precious. The rings are also circular, and it's a reminder that there must never be an end to your love. And finally, they're reminders, everyday reminders, of the commitment and vows that you've made today. So Jack, if you'll take this ring, the small one, 
the symbol of your love for Mallory. Place it on the third finger on her left hand. And look at her repeating after me. Mallory, every time you look at this ring. Mallory, every time you look at this ring. I want you to remember. I want you to remember. How much I love you. How much I love you. This ring is my gift to you. This ring is my gift to you. As a visible reminder. As a visible reminder. Of my vow today. Of my vow today. To God and you. To God and you. Before all present. Before all present. I will always love you. I will always love you. And be faithful to you. And be faithful to you. Mallory, you take this ring for Jack. Place it on the third finger on the left hand. And say this to him, repeating after me. Jack, every time you look at this ring, I want you to remember how much I love you. This ring is my gift to you as a visible reminder of my vow today to God and you before all present. I will always love you and be faithful to you. Will you guys bow your heads with me for benediction? <laughs> God, we thank you for these vows and these rings and this covenant that Jack and Mallory have entered into today. We thank you again for their love for each other. And God, we pray right now that that love will last forever, that you will be the center of their lives, that they will put each other before each other's needs, before the needs of themselves. And God, we ask that you bless their marriage, bless their life together. Bless the next 50, 60, 70 years that they'll be happy and healthy. And God, we give you all the honor and all the glory. And again, we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, Jack and Mallory, we've heard your covenant to share your lives in marriage. So, on behalf of everyone here today and in the sight of our Lord, according to the standards of the church and the laws of the great state of Georgia, because we are taking vows exchanging rings, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Jack, you can kiss your brown. <laughs> what God has joined together, let no one separate. It's my honor to present to you guys for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Jack Wilson.